Susan Lucci is an American actress, TV host, and entrepreneur. She's perhaps best known for her longtime role as Erica Kane on the daytime soap opera All My Children, for which she received numerous Daytime Emmy Award nominations. She's also appeared in various TV shows, movies, and stage productions, including The Woman Who Sinned, Army Wives, Devious Maids, and hosted programs like Saturday Night Live and Deadly Affairs. Lucci is also known for her business ventures, including skincare and beauty products, as well as her philanthropic work. Lucci has only been married once. She married her husband, Helmut Huber, in 1969. They have a son named Andreas and a daughter named Liza. Liza followed in her mother's footsteps by becoming a soap opera actress, best known for her role as Gwen Hotchkiss on Passions. Lucci frequently credited her husband with being her most significant source of strength and support in her personal and professional life. That's why when Huber passed away last year at the age of 84, she was devastated. Stay tuned to find out how Susan Lucci is holding up as she mourns the death of her love. Facts First presents Susan Lucci May Never Again Date After Her Heartbreak. Lucci's life has turned upside down. Susan Lucci will always hold a very special place in her heart for her husband, Helmut Huber. In early February 2023, the 76-year-old soap opera alum appeared on Good Day New York to raise awareness for American Heart Month. While on the program, Lucci opened up about her private life, after anchor Rosanna Scotta pointed out that it will most certainly be a very difficult year for Lucci as she'll be celebrating Valentine's Day for the first time alone after spending the previous 52 years sharing the day with her late husband. Scotta went on to acknowledge how Lucci and Huber were partners in everything, including love, business, and pretty much everything else. Lucci replied to this observation, expressing how lucky she felt to have had Huber in her life. Skoda then asked Lucci whether she's ready to re-enter the dating scene, but Lucci quickly replied saying she's definitely not, which is entirely reasonable considering how her husband's death was less than a year ago. She went on to open up saying that while everyone is different, she currently is just focused on how much she misses him. Quote, he's worth missing. He was really the love of my life. Lucci shifted gears and described what made him a unique influence. She described him as a very special big presence who could take charge in a good way. She called him caring, a caregiver, funny and smart. Before adding, he was also handsome and had a cute accent. People are trying to set her up on dates. Lucci may not be ready to start dating again, but that hasn't stopped complete strangers from trying to set her up with somebody new. When Lucci revealed this fact to Scotto, she became visibly emotional while reiterating that she's not interested in dating at the current time. While wiping a tear from her eye, the actress said that she can't even imagine going on a date at this point. Although people mean well, it's obvious that trying to set someone up with someone new while they're still in the depths of the grieving process comes across as tone-deaf and insensitive. Huber passed away peacefully on Long Island, March 28, 2022. A representative of the family subsequently put out a statement that referred to him as a family man who deeply loved his wife and children. The statement also called him a loyal friend. The rep went on to describe Huber as having a roaring sense of humor and a larger-than-life personality. The statement wrapped up applauding him for always being a practical problem-solver who lived his life to the fullest. Lucci spoke about her husband's passing while introducing the In Memoriam segment at the 49th Annual Daytime Emmy Awards in June 2022. During that moving speech, she made mention once again of his larger-than-life personality while also calling him a force of nature. She additionally called him a confident caregiver who always knew exactly how to make things happen and keep everyone around him laughing at the same time. Lucci wrapped up her unofficial eulogy of Huber by noting how much he loved and was so proud of their children and grandchildren. Finally, she acknowledged that people say grief is often the price we must pay for love. But to her, if grief is the price she must pay, she still says she wouldn't give up even one second of the love she shared with Huber. Lucci knew she wanted to be an actor from an early age. Susan Lucci was born December 23, 1946 in Scarsdale, New York. She was the daughter of Jeanette and Victor Lucci, who owned a building supply company. Lucci was raised in a tight-knit family and showed an interest in performing from a young age. She took dance lessons and appeared in school productions. After graduating from high school, Lucci attended Marymount College in Terrytown, New York, where she studied theater and speech. 
She also performed in theater productions in college. Then she moved to New York City to pursue acting. She landed small roles in several television shows and stage productions before being cast as Erica Kane in the daytime soap opera All My Children in 1970. Lucci quickly became a fan favorite for her portrayal of Kane, and her work on the show earned her recognition and accolades. Throughout her career, Lucci has remained a prominent figure in the entertainment industry and has continued to work in various TV shows, movies, and stage productions. After portraying Erica Kane on All My Children for more than 40 years, Lucci went on to make appearances in 80s shows like The Love Boat, Fantasy Island, and The Fall Guy. She also landed roles in films like Young Doctors in Love, Invitation to Hell, Anastasia, The Mystery of Anna, and The Bride is Back. In 1990, she hosted Saturday Night Live and later that year appeared in six episodes of the primetime soap Dallas as the character Hilary Taylor. Throughout the remainder of the 90s, she continued to appear in films like The Woman Who Sinned, French Silk, Between Love and Hate, and Ebby. After a lengthy time away from television, Lucci showed back up on the small screen in the role of Jacqueline Carr in two episodes of Hope and Faith in 2004. Four years later, she competed in the seventh season of Dancing with the Stars alongside dance partner Tony Dovolani. She finished sixth place after being voted off the show on November 5, 2008. In more recent years, she's guest starred in five episodes of Hot in Cleveland that aired between 2010 and 2014. After that, she appeared in several episodes of Army Wives as Audrey Whitaker. From 2012 to 14, Lucci hosted the Investigation Discovery true crime documentary series Deadly Affairs. Then from 2013 to 2016, she was a series regular in the ABC comedy drama series Devious Maids in the role of Genevieve Delatore. In 2015, Lucci returned to the big screen with a supporting role in David O. Russell's biographical coming-of-age film Joy. Lucci's two most recent credits were a minor role in a 2017 episode of Difficult People and for providing vocal work for Disney's 2018 animated feature Ralph Breaks the Internet. Lucci had a frightening health scare. In the fall of 2019, Lucci suddenly experienced severe chest discomfort. After seeking medical assistance, she discovered she had two blocked cardiac arteries. Later that evening, she underwent an emergency procedure to place two stents in her heart, a procedure she didn't tell the public about until shortly before attending the annual Go Red for Women fashion event hosted by the American Heart Association in February 2019. These days, the 76-year-old is doing her best to maintain a healthy lifestyle while enjoying her golden years in Long Island. She hasn't appeared in anything to speak of since 2018, so it's quite possible she's retired from acting, though she hasn't announced that in any official capacity. Let's just hope Susan Lucci can successfully navigate through this particularly heart-wrenching chapter of her life. And before anyone else gets the bright idea to try to set her up on another date, let's all give Lucci a moment to process the loss of her dearly departed husband. Now it's time to hear from you. What's your favorite memory of Susan Lucci? Let us know in the comments section below.